Hi, this is Julie Caitlin Brown from Babylon 5. Yes, 20 years ago this year, and I'm here saying, watch Groovy TV. It's Ooh. fantastic. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Julie Caitlin Brown from Babylon 5 here at Starfest 2013, the 20th anniversary of one of my favorite shows absolutely ever. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm great. I can't believe it's been 20 years, though. Oh, me neither. It's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> Where'd the time go? But I'm so happy to be at Starfest. I gotta tell you, I have uh, known of this show for many years. Mm -hmm. I actually have a booking company that manages talent. Mm -hmm. I've sent people here, and this was the first year I got invited to come, and I'm, wow. I'm just floored. What a lovely, lovely show. Thank you, Steve Walker. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> so what are you all working on now? And tell me about the 20th anniversary. Well, it's very interesting. We're going to do a reunion at mm -hmm. Phoenix Comic Con. Um, I think everybody's going. Everybody that's still alive. We've lost a lot of our people, it's sad, sad to say. Um, but uh, I have an, a, a booking agency, as I said. We mm -hmm. represent 100 actors. We do 150 wow. shows a year. Um, I have uh, written two books, Love First, the beginning, Love First and the Artist. Mm -hmm. uh, I do workshops on those. I have two albums out. One's wow. called Shed in My Skin, uh, which I did when I was still doing Babylon 5. That's why it's Shed in My Skin. <laughs> and uh, the other one is called Struck by Lightning. And oh, so wow. I'm going to be doing some concerts uh, at some of these events as well. And you must never sleep because you do all this crazy stuff. You're a musician, author, actor. I don't sleep a lot. I have a 10-year-old and a 30-year-old. <laughs> and uh, my 30-year-old and I just started a new company, which I can't talk about right now. But there's something nice. to be looking for uh, in you know, late 2013. Um, mm. I actually have fallen in love with my homeland. My, my family comes from Croatia. A uh, couple generations back, and I now have a boyfriend in Croatia. So I've added world traveler. I go there to date. Okay. Because there's no men in LA. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, not bitter. Go ahead. You just threw LA. <laughs> into the bus. I did. Flying to Croatia. <laughs> yes, we're importing our talent anyway. <laughs> I won't get you good. in trouble. Okay. I won't get you in trouble with that. Yeah, don't get me in trouble. We've <laughs> no. got to keep this very, very family friendly. Go ahead. No, um, with the uh, the agency you run, I mean, mm -hmm. like, who do you all represent? It's a huge list. We brought mm -hmm. Ben Browder here. Mm -hmm. I have about 18 characters from the Supernatural series. I have five or six characters from Vampire Diaries. Stargate, Stargate Universe, uh, Buffy. Uh, I've got people from um, Continuum. I have basically the whole cast of Continuum, with a few exceptions. Uh, a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of great, great, great stars. Will Young mm -hmm. Lee just joined us. He's going to be in the new Wolverine movie. Of course, oh, Jason nice. Momoa from Stargate Atlantis, who's got the new picture Wolves coming out. Um, John Piper Ferguson is in that picture as well. And I mean, we've got so many wonderful people. And my Bab some of my Babylon 5 cohorts. And uh, yeah. I was on Star Trek and Deep Space Nine. So occasionally I'll call up Patrick and say, Patrick, would you like to do a show? Um, yeah, it's <laughs> really fun. You do a bad voice. Yes, I say, Patrick, how are you? I, I always speak nicer when I'm talking to Sir Patrick Stewart. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like talking to a nun. You just know to adjust. It's, yeah. I never really saw him as a nun before now. No, he's just a, you know, he's just kind of, as cool as he is, he's mm -hmm. sort of a, he's Sir Patrick Stewart. You just don't talk to him like, hey, Patrick, how you doing? You say, and how are you today? <laughs> yeah. Well, if I ever meet him, I'll make sure I do that voice. Yes, they would, Patrick, you know, Julie wanted me to say okay. So are you still working on music and stuff like that? You know, I haven't really been doing a lot of music. Um, I am working on a Broadway musical that I'm writing. Um, it's honoring a band from, you know, the 60s that mm -hmm. I can't talk about also because it's proprietary. But uh, I was inspired by their music to come mm -hmm. up with a story set around the, uh, about 1969. It's an interracial love story set against wow. the backdrop of um, the South and the wow. Civil Rights Movement. And their music is fantastic for it. It's like I was inspired by three songs, went back and looked at their whole catalog, and it's almost like they were writing it for me. Really a trip. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I mean, you know, most people say like, oh, I'm writing a little song. You're like, I'm writing a musical. Run well, I, I, I starred in Grand Hotel for Tommy Toon for two years. I was mm. a lead in his musical. And right. um, it, it, musical theater is my background. Okay. Um, and just telling great stories. I think that's what we're doing here. And I think we're doing it, all of us are doing that. In some way, shape, or form, we're trying to connect. Mm -hmm. And in that connection, whatever that discipline is that you connect with, uh, you know, I've just been saying this a lot lately, so I, I'll say it again. Love it or leave it. If you hate what you're doing, leave it. Because mm -hmm. you can't be abundant 
through the tightness of fear and hating something. You can only be abundant when your arms are wide open. Right. It's like Absolutely. the Looney Tune cartoon. Okay, I'm not gonna say. There's a Looney Tune cartoon about Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny. And he gets shrunk down to this size and he goes, mine, 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 mine. Well, you know, if you're running around going, mine, 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 you're not open to receive. <laughs> That's the philosophy thing for the day. Right. So don't be that Daffy, Daffy Duck. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> don't be Daffy Duck. Bugs. He's cool. <laughs> That's what we've learned today. That's what we learned today. Life is Looney Tunes. God. My life's pretty Looney Tunes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. No, I'm completely well balanced. Well, actually, someone who can have a purple beard would have to be well balanced. And you, you just, you're yourself. I am. This is a, yeah, you're authentic. Yeah, I can actually walk into the grocery store and I don't care. <laughs> it's just me. Very cool. I'm pretty happy. So what else is going on? I mean, like, yeah, so much happening. What about acting? What, what are you working on? With well, that? really strange. I just finished a short film called The Call, where I uh, play the drill instructor whose son is being bullied, and, and okay. um, it's a beautiful little piece that's going to go on the festival circuit. Um, I also did a, a, a reading recently. It was very funny, a very funny comedy piece that what was odd is... I didn't even know what I was going to do until I did it, and then I did it, and I thought, God, you know, I do miss acting. I mm. miss stage more than anything, but it, it, I'm 52 years old, and I have all these businesses and all this stuff going on, and to stop what I'm doing to run to an audition, if somebody called me and said, hey, Julie, I have a part for you, I'd love you to do it, I'm right there. Mm -hmm. um, but generally, at my point in my life and my career, um, I really haven't... I did a short film called Thoughts of Suicide on an Otherwise Lovely Day, which was... Um, an autobiographical piece. I uh -huh. almost died a few years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And this year it's kind of hanging in the balance between stay or go, and mm -hmm. that's what the piece is about. Um, and I was in a movie called All About Evil. I played Tammy Tunis. I was a very, very bitchy, evil stepmother, smoking her ass off. And it was very funny. Can I say ass? And, uh, yeah. You can say whatever you want. So there's, <laughs> there's been some acting out there, but mm -hmm. generally I'm uh, focusing on building this core business, and, right. and it has just really taken off. It's been a blessing. and Exciting to get to come out and meet people like you. And oh my God, these people here at Starfest are so nice. They're awesome, aren't they? They're just awesome. I mean, they're giving me chocolate up the wazoo. <laughs> I, I've had so much sugar. It's a good thing I'm not a diabetic. <laughs> You're a little bit jittery. Wait a minute. <laughs> Three pounds of sugar. <laughs> Coffee. Stop it. Okay. So, like, when you're coordinating, like, with your agency and all the festivals yeah. and stuff, like, how many festivals are there like this? This is a billion-dollar industry that um, has been growing up from a kind of mom-and-pop organization to more of a professional. Mm -hmm. There's some big pro shows, the Wizards, the Reed, the Creation. Right. Um, but there, what's beautiful about entrepreneurship is that when 2008 hit, we all thought we were going to be in big trouble. Everybody mm -hmm. thought, this is it. You know, the conventions are going to die because people have lost their jobs. What actually occurred is the sectors that actually do the best in an economic downturn are technology and entertainment. Well, that's what we are. So we have all these tech heads, my lovely geeks, I love you, who want to come to these shows, and they started their own businesses. Nice. And new shows have cropped up everywhere. I cannot believe... Every week, every week, five new shows I hear about. Wow. Globally, five That's new insane. shows. That's insane. And we have, a, I'm starting a company in Europe uh, soon. That Croatia? Will be, that will be, yes. That will be uh, consulting events. That's awesome. Yeah, because awesome. I went to Romania. They got 8,500 people their first show. Really? I took John Reese davies and they had a kid from Game of Thrones. Unbelievable. Wow. 8,500 people with no infrastructure. It was hilarious. So we kind of just jumped in and, and helped them. And wow. they're amazing young people with great vision. And it's tough, you know, to be able to see what you want and then have the fortitude to go forward and do it and not listen to people telling you it's not going to work. Right. That's, that's what awesome. we need from our young people. Right, he was so 23 years old. That's amazing. <laughs> 22 <laughs> years old. Yeah. Oh, we're getting the... Uh, Hi, son. The go, the go away thing. So look, quick. Sure. Tell me about the... Uh, Babylon 20 year and then they're gonna kick us out. Okay, basically we're hitting the 20 year of the launch of the pilot. Uh, there are certain shows that are gonna come out and bring a lot of us in, mm -hmm. uh, Phoenix being one of them. Um, it's just an amazing uh, thing to have been a part of because it was such a unique show. Joe Straczynski is a genius. That was amazing. Know that. There was everything the great well, was amazing. Yeah, and, and it is sad that, that upon this 20th year we have to honor Jeff Conway, Andreas Katsoulis, Tim Choate, Richard Biggs, Michael O'Hare, who've all passed. Um, and we are there to celebrate their life and their work as well. So please come out and see awesome. us. Awesome, awesome. And thank and you reminisce. so much for your time. Thank you, Groovy TV. Bye. Bye.
I think we got like two seconds left. Thank you so much. There you, you have go. like 11 seconds. And then yeah, I'm baby! Off.